In this video, we're going to learn how to use the COUNTIF function in C++. We typically use the COUNTIF function to determine the number of elements in a range that satisfy some condition. So for example, how many integers in a vector are even. The COUNTIF function is going to do this with the help of another function that's going to accept an element as an argument and return either true or false. Let's go over an example of using the COUNTIF function. The first thing we'll do is include the algorithm library where the function is defined, and we'll also include the vector library so we can create a vector. Then down here, we'll create a vector to store ints. We'll have vector int, and we'll call our vector test. And the vector is going to store the ints 2, 4, 6, 8, and then 1 and 3. And let's say that we want to use count if to count the number of even numbers that occur in this vector. The first step would be to create a function that's going to accept an element as an argument and return true if it's even and false if it's not. So here, we'll have a function called isEven. And the function is going to return a bool value, either true or false. The function is going to accept an element as an argument. So we'll have int for our parameter type because our elements are ints, and we'll have n for the parameter name. The function is going to return true if the integer is even and false if it's odd. If we divide an integer by two and we get a remainder of zero, that means the integer is even. The modulus operator is going to give us the remainder of a division operation. So if we have n modulus two, this is going to give us the remainder of n when it's divided by two. We can check to see if that's equal to zero. And if this is true, we want to return true. And if it's false, we want to return false. So we can actually just return the result of this expression. Because if the expression is true, we want to return true. And if the expression is false, we want to return false. We can use this function with the COUNTIF function. So down here in main, we'll call COUNTIF. We'll have here int even count because the COUNTIF function is going to return the number of integers in this vector that are even. We'll call COUNTIF and we'll pass it our range first. So we'll have test.begin and test.end for the range and then we'll have isEven for the function. So COUNTIF is going to call isEven for each element in this range from the start of the vector until the end of the vector. And each element is going to get passed to isEven. And isEven is going to return either true or false. What COUNTIF is going to return is the number of times that isEven returned true. And we'll store that into even count. We can then output even count. So here we'll have cout and we'll have even numbers colon followed by even count and then an end line. And if we save compile and run the program, we'll get here even numbers four. And that's correct because our vector does have four even numbers. So that's how the COUNTIF function is going to work. So technically what's going on here is that begin and end are vector member functions and begin is going to return what's called an iterator. It's going to return an iterator that points to the first element in this vector. End is going to return an iterator that points to a hypothetical element, one beyond the last element in the vector. So sort of like an element right here, one beyond the last element in the vector, so right here. And those iterators define a range between the first element in the range and the last element in the range. And the COUNTIF function is going to work on all the elements in that range, including the first element, but not including the last element. So we should be aware that the element that this iterator points to is not going to be included in the elements that COUNTIF is going to check. Now the COUNTIF function is going to work with all kinds of ranges. So for example, it's going to work with C style arrays. We could declare a C style array of ints with int array is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we'll call COUNTIF with the range of elements in the C style array. So we'll have here count if, and we'll have array and array plus 10. And then we'll have is even again, 
to count the number of even numbers in this array. And we'll store the return value into an int variable called even array count. Then we can output that return value. So we'll have here C out array even numbers colon, followed by even array count, followed by an end line. And we can save, compile, and run the program. And here we get array even numbers is five. And that makes sense because there's five even numbers between one and 10. So when we use array like this, we're using what's called a pointer. This is going to give us a pointer to the first element in this array. And array plus 10 is using something called pointer arithmetic. It's going to give us a pointer to the int that is 10 beyond this element here. That's going to be an element one beyond this element here. And that's exactly what we want. Now pointers in C++ can be used as iterators. So these are also iterators that are defining the range of elements on which the countif function is going to operate. I should also mention that the function countif accepts as a third argument, strictly speaking, doesn't need to return a bool. It could return anything that is convertible to a bool. And technically speaking, the third argument to countif doesn't need to be a function. It's actually a unary predicate that's going to accept an argument and return true or false. And so anything that behaves like a function, such as a lambda function, will also work. So this is how we can use the countif function in C++. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.